This is the hotly anticipated Samsung Galaxy S5. It's Samsung's new flagship model and it's been unveiled here today at Mobile World Congress. Normally, Samsung announced a lot of software updates and apps that maybe aren't that practical, but not this time. This time, they've gone for a lot of practical things that will actually make using your phone a lot better. The first one that I want to talk about is the power saving mode. This means that when your phone has 10% of battery left, and we've all been in that situation, when you want to make a call and you know it's not going to do it, but not any longer with the Samsung Galaxy S5, when it's got 10% of battery remaining, it lasts for 24 hours in standby mode. It goes into a sort of critical state. The screen goes black and white, and it will let you make and receive calls and texts, but nothing else. So it's really useful for those situations when you know you're going to need to make a call or a text, but the battery is running critically low. The S5 is a lot faster too. It blends together Wi-Fi and 4G LTE simultaneously so that it means you can download one gigabyte of data in just 30 seconds. That is so fast. It means you'll get high definition films on this device really rapidly. The example they gave is before the popcorn has even managed to pop in your microwave. Samsung wants this phone to help you keep fit. So it's got a new range of apps to help you with that. And it's also the first smartphone to come with a heart rate monitor built in. Now an added bonus is it's also more durable than ever. It's dust proof and water resistant. So this means that you're not gonna be able to take it for a dunk. You can't put it in your bath, but it will survive a rain shower out when you're running, for example. Just like the iPhone 5S, this comes with a fingerprint reader. So you can use it to lock and unlock your phone really easily. But you can also use it for PayPal and making online transactions. It's also good for keeping private folders private so that only you can unlock them within your phone. So all in all, I am pretty impressed with this phone. The design is better than before. It's still lightweight, which I quite like. It's got a fantastic screen. But moreover, it's got really practical features. I like the fingerprint reader. I like the fact that it keeps your payments secure. I also like the fact that it's water resistant. That's, you know, really handy if you're going to go outside. But for me, the absolute best feature is the power saving mode. Everyone has been in that situation when you have just, you know, a tiny percentage of battery left. And this will go the distance. We'll be looking at this again soon for a more in-depth look. But in the meantime, check out our review of the Samsung Gear 2 and the Samsung Gear Fit.